like this past time it was one of my friend's birthday and hopefully they don't fucking talk shit oh but, i saw your snapchat but these fucking guys it literally like got no it was so much fun and then the fuck That's then the, uh, the office came out and the <laughs> the, main, no, the queen bees all the queen oh, bees not the queens all the queen bees came out and then they were arguing and then and then it wasn't even okay you always give that birthday person the pass yes but it's like when it's you're not the birthday person like why the fuck do you make it about yourself you know what i'm saying Facts. like for my birthday oh my god it, Too shy is back. Hi guys, Paulina here. Woo woo. Dati here. Hi. And producer Marco. Oh, Nestor. Nestor's here. Oh, Nestor, I thought you said hi. <laughs> it's been two episodes in a row. <laughs> yeah, we were like, the last episode we did, um, you were at my NRSs, so we just like kind of propped up like a fake Nestor and did just you? said, no, no, but we wanted to. Oh. <laughs> I thought about it. Imagine. That would be cool. We that would be cool. An infl <laughs> inflatable Nestor. <laughs> right. Sick. We put your cookie on the chair. That That's what it was. Cool, actually. We should have. We do big printouts of each other. And we just put them right there when you're not there. I want mine to look like I'm twerking. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hi, guys. Sorry. We still um didn't reach our subscribers, so we can't pay our heat bill. <laughs> yeah. It's still cold. Yeah. So the cold. reason we have no heat is because we don't have enough subscribers. Oh, yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. So we can't pay the heat bill. So we're really asking people to subscribe, yeah. uh, leave comments, reviews, all of that, mm -hmm. so that we can pay our heat bill. Mm-hmm. No joke, we're all literally wearing hats. Help us. <laughs> I'm wearing a sweater. We <laughs> yes. I took off my coat just to for look the nice. Look. Are you freezing? Oh, it's a look. Well, I'm cold. I apologize. We can we can move no. the podcast in Nevada. No, if fine. we get enough subscribers. No, no. I'd rather no. keep on my construction check. You on. did. You look like you're gonna go to construction. <laughs> I do. I love it. Well, I'm happy we're all reunited and we're here today. Uh, we're going to kick off, of course, with our affirmations. Everybody got to think of a good one. <laughs> Who wants to start? I feel like I always throw it to Tati. I know. I, I, could, I could start. Yes, yes Master. Like that. Yes. Um, Slay queen. So my affirmation, right? We're doing affirmations. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's affirmation, but I would say like there's certain conversations. Like I think I've said this before, but I it actually... There was a situation that happened. I, I came back from New York, for those that don't know. I saw that. I went to New York because I went with my brother to do a, um, a vintage convention. And so it all went good. On our way back, we started um, we started having a conversation with this one of the guys that went with us. And so as I started saying, we started talking about family. And I remember when we talked about my grandma in that one episode. <laughs> you, yes. you cared more and about so, your dog? So it's 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 just it's always like that's my perspective that I have of her. Yeah. And it's not just my like it wasn't like just my encounter that I had with my grandma. Yeah. But also like the experiences that I hear like from my mom, like is that's what I the vibe that she gave to my mom. Like that's yeah. how she acted with my mom. Like <coughs> yeah. she was like crazy with my mom. And so as we're having this conversation, I forgot where that conversation was going with my brother's friend. My brother started saying, like, don't talk. Like, don't, don't, like, why are you talking out of place? Like, why are you saying this? And so I know that in the past I've said, like, not every conversation needs you to be part of it. And, and more and more, I think mm -hmm. I've been able to do that. Mm -hmm. But also there's going to be situations where stand your ground. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was that, that, um, that was a, a actual situation where I, I had to hold my ground right there because it's like, I told my brother, you had an experience with my grandma and you've seen a lot of her. And I'm not saying like, like I'm right. And, and she was just this person. She might have had a reason why she was like that. Right. But at the end of the day, this is how she treated me. And this is how she treated mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And you can't you're not going to like like kind of just brush it under the the carpet you know what i'm saying like you're not gonna just do that like this is what what it was you know what i'm saying and so all that to say like there's gonna be times where like not everything needs your two cents but mm -hmm. also there's gonna be times where like just hold your ground and this is what it was like i i don't hate my grandma you know what i'm saying this is just no, yeah. my like, experiences of her you know yeah and again she raised 13 kids by herself and so that's something that wow. like i told my brother i'm not saying like anything about that i'm just saying like this is what how i perceive my grandma and so yeah so is that an affirmation yeah right yeah, yeah of course yeah Oh, well, we missed you, mm -hmm. Mr. New York. 
right? Jersey. And we were in Jersey, too. <laughs> Jersey's kind of lit, though. I love their accent. I've Shout never been Jersey. to New York. I want to go. What? Oh, yeah. my God. Honestly, I want to go. I think you should go in the summer because. Oh yeah, no, it's too cold now. It's like going dude, to I didn't really like, enjoy it. I went no, to Manhattan I, I and I was like, summer. That's I'm like done. A weekend. That's yeah. like I'm. I'm gonna. I'm make down to go with you. Yeah. All right. Cool. Never too shy takes New York. Love Honestly, that. same. I love Talk New York. It's my favorite city to go to. There's bullshit. Oh, it's cheap to get to. It's easy. I don't know if this is wrong to say, what? but I kept telling every New York. And every person in New York, in New York, every New York, not everyone's Puerto Rican, New York every, <laughs> every New Yorkan or whatever, New Yorker. I kept telling them the only thing that would make New York better would be more Mexicans. I don't know if that's racist to say. You think they probably say that in Chicago saying there's too many Mexicans. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You can never say that. Like no, you said there's not enough Mexicans. <laughs> right. it's just, that's pretty much no, saying there's saying too many Puerto there. Ricans. Well, this is the thing because... <laughs> Like their food is okay, oh, but about the Chicago food, food is yeah. good. Oh, and, top tier! And you know who's behind every yeah, single Mexican, kitchen? Mexican. A Mexican. A Mexican. Yeah, even yeah. in Chinese food restaurants, there's we're, a Pablo or somebody. Yeah, I just think that we make everything better. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that we're better than everyone, but I just think. No, like, I mean, I, 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 I would agree. I think that's a strong argument to make that like Mexicans got their hands in almost everything. Mm -hmm. Facts. So behind yeah, that's the all. scenes, they're they're putting work. I'll, I'll give it to y'all. Not and it's so cramped up. It's so cramped up over there, but it's yeah. too what? I gotta go. Yeah, you're on top of each other. You, yeah. you, if I go to New York, like I gotta go take some classes, like dance wise, because mm -hmm. that's like oh, the heart of salsa. And in, in here in the U.S., Why like didn't know that? New, New, oh my God, New York, that's the place where dancers go to live their dreams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they say. <laughs> I could have sworn it was L.A., but. No for, for, no, for like Latin dancing, oh, like Latin. salsa, like mambo, it's, or like Broadway. It's dancing. definitely New York for okay. sure. Um, dance your way to Harlem, girl. Okay, dancing yeah. queen. Nah, I want to go. Like, I feel like if I go to New York, I want to go like in Washington Heights. I used to live there. That's yeah. where. Um, that's where I want to be. I, that's where a lot of the part, uh, the dancing happens. Yeah. The scene. Yeah, yeah. I heard Brooklyn is the spot. Everyone Brooklyn. kept telling me you should have got to Brooklyn. Go to Brooklyn. Go to Brooklyn. It's, I didn't get to go to Brooklyn. Oh my god, I'm not a Brooklyn broad, <laughs> but like it's cool there. But they said do not go to the Bronx. Yeah, girl. But I'm like, Bronx. where are the hot boys at? And they're like Washington Heights. They said the Bronx. I mean, but I also feel like they're the top are six are probably over. there. But I will say this. They say that a lot of New York New York people love Chicago. They do. I mean, I know a lot of people from New York who dance there, and they come to Chicago every year, and we show them love, and they're the yeah. shit. We love them. So, oh, yeah, it's Chicago. such a thriving place, though, for, like, dance, yeah. whether it's um, social, competitive, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they fucking dance. For sure. Washington Heights for and sure. Harlem. Um, where's the other spot? There's another one, too, over there. <laughs> kind of near the Bronx, too. Mm -hmm. There's, like, there's a lot of spots. Yeah. Queens. There's a lot in Queens. Yeah. Oh, I love, love that. Okay. Amazing. I could, Tati? I could go. Uh, my affirmation is very simple. Um, I love what I do. I'm in the best field I could be in. Ooh. Um, and that's my affirmation. I... You know, I was sick, so today yeah. was my first day back at work, oh. and I was I have I was so happy. <laughs> like I was teaching my ass off today. Like we were teaching today. <laughs> Learning was happening. The teacher was teaching. The teaching was the teacher was teaching. <laughs> yeah. Right, amazing. Um, and it was just really sweet because like just my students are like, Missy, you're back, and right away like, how are you feeling? How are you? Oh my god! And it's just like, kids are so sweet. You know, today is just one of those days where like. I feel like teenagers, especially like urban South Side teenagers, they, they have a bad rap, mm -hmm. you know, um, of being like people may see them. They, when you look at them, people assume like they're hoodlums or this. And it's like, nah, these are babies, man. They're but also sweet, you're they're sweet kids like they're kids to the core. They are they are kids. Also, and, let's say you're hot and they might be wanting to look forward to seeing a hot teacher. No, for real. That's a thing. <laughs> That's a I'm trying to have this real sweet. That is a, that right. is a thing. She really has sentimental. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> they just want to look. At you. I mean, maybe not like that, but I don't know. Because I I look like a troll at work, so no, I don't know. I, I, no, you don't. No, you don't. I kind of do though. You don't have to wear makeup. You have good complexion. Like, calm down. Yeah, but anyway, I just like today was one of those days. Like, I felt joy teaching all day i was tired as hell though right i was like man i'm teaching teaching i'm tired tired <laughs> but like i felt yeah. really good and it was just a day where i'm like see i love what i do i could never be a stay-at-home girlfriend 
Shout out. I'm guessing this is a part of a different conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that was it. I, I just love what I do. I can't imagine not doing that. Like it makes me happy every single day. No, I know so I feel joy. I feel very blessed. Can we make another Instagram for you teaching with Tati? I think that was taken. Oh fuck! Remember, we, you guys were with me when I was making it. Make Everything it. was taken. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Blank with I mean, Tati, tea like with Tati. Of the, 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 all, everything was taken except talk with Tati. Because <laughs> I'd be talking. <laughs> yeah, she got her two Instagrams. <laughs> Love that. Love it. <laughs> what about you, Paulina? All right. I think mine is going to be more of like a, mm-hmm. it's an affirmation and a message in one. And it's very simple. But for me, it's like I'm very proud of you mm-hmm. because I think sometimes we need to hear that as people. Um, I think it's like really important to not only guess up your people, but to let them let them know like you are proud of them. Like you see what they're doing. Um, you acknowledge it. You support them. You know what I mean? Because there's some days that I think are just so hard for some of us. You know what I mean? And like we all want all our days to be good, right? But in reality, it's not always like what happens. So I'm just proud of all of you guys, every single one of you here, Thanks. all of our listeners. I'm proud of everybody, even stay at home girlfriends. I'm just, I'm just proud. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of everybody. Um, and I, I see the work that a lot of you guys are putting into your crafts, into your, your life, what you do. Cause not everything shows, shows up on social media. Not everything is shared. Um, there's a lot of sweat, grind and tears in what we do. And mm-hmm. that speaks for all of us. And I just mm-hmm. want to say, I see you guys and I'm proud of you. So that's my, thank you. Esther, you got it. <laughs> you got it, baby. What about you, producer Marco? Your fans want to know. Oh, you're every, one fan. I, every day. <laughs> Who's my client? I no, no, I like Miguel's a fan. He has two. I have two fans? Two yes. fans? Two fans. Dude. Miguel's a fan, for sure. Um, <laughs> I think my information is what comes quick leaves quicker. Ooh. And that. I think that's in all sense because <laughs> I feel like people want to microwave success, people want to microwave a relationship. People want to rush into things too quick oh, and want yeah. instant gratification and instant results. And it takes time. It takes time to have a solid foundation for a business, for a relationship, yep. for anything. And people are quick to just kind of want, like, you know, to have some ROI right away. And it's like, bro, shit takes a long time. So, yeah, what long comes time. quick leaves quicker. So Why Tate is going to take her lo- take us longer to g- <laughs> to get married. I mean, at this point... <laughs> What's what's another few years, right? True. We're chilling. No, don't rush it. We're chilling. That's a big. I am. Commitment. I am. We chilling. We big chilling. Yeah. You see me? I'm big chilling. Girl, I've been chilled my whole life. And, <laughs> like I never had a serious relationship <laughs> until I got this one. I get so, that. No, I get that. You know, and I'm not gonna lie. It was the best thing I ever did. I I don't think I've ever been in a serious relationship as an adult. Same. Ever. Yeah. Is ever. Yeah. Not one after eighteen. Not one. There's people that we, I've talked to seriously and I was like right, okay. so like excited about and then shit, it went to shit, you know? So yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think I've had like a real adult mature relationship either because really? mine was like out of college. And then, you know, I feel like at at 21 years old, your front, your frontal yes. lobe of your brain is yes. barely still developing. Literally. Like, it's barely almost done. So I feel like anything after 24 doesn't count. Yeah. I mean, anything before 24, look at me, I'm a mess. Anything (laughs) before 24 doesn't count. So technically, I've been single, 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 single. Wow. Forever. Same. Same, honestly. I'm I'm at zero. But I feel like we, like, I don't know, live in a time where, like, I wouldn't shame that. Like, I actually embrace it. I always (laughs) say, like my single years were like my favorite and not because of like this and that, but I just feel like I got to do everything I wanted to like no shade to people who get in relationships or get married young. But like, I know for a fact I couldn't have done half the shit I did. Like get up and go to New York Mm -hmm. city. I used to do that all the time because it's fights were cheap and I would just go and hang out. Like I can't like do that now with this like married broad that I am. Like I can't, you know what I mean? Like get up and go like I'm this married old broad. And like, I don't know, like even to like go to, uh, a party on Friday or like, you know what I mean? Like not that I have to ask for permission cause I don't believe in that. I'll never will. But like, I do have to tell my husband, like, this is where I'm going. Like you yeah. essentially like re- not report to somebody, but you have to I be mean, considerate. Yeah, it's yeah, respect. Of you, course. You, cause I expect the same. You're having the line of communication with you, someone. You, yes. Yeah. And I never yeah. had that. So it was really hard in the beginning. Cause it's no longer your life. It's your life Our together. Life. Our yeah. life. There's no more why you may question why, but the why is gone. It's now all you are. Oh shit. 
It is O U R. Like that was deep. <laughs> that was deep. That was deep. Wise oh words my God, from a that's semi decent woman. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very decent woman. Um, so I love it. So we're gonna move to the topic today. We tried to do it last week, but it's okay. We saved it because um, Nestor's back, and I need to hear. I actually was dying to hear some of your opinions on yeah, these. Yeah, okay. for sure. So I made a list because I see these on TikTok. They were going around. They were like, "We're leaving this behind in 2023, right? Or we're gonna bring this into 2024." Essentially, a list of what we're leaving. And like, they're they're funny. Usually, mm-hmm. they could be like, "I don't know." We're not gonna bring like Stanley Cups, right? Like shit like Ugh. that. But it's like funny. I know. I don't want to get started with Stanley Cups. Your students use those. You see them everywhere. Not not Stanley Cups no. per se. Just those big stupid Starbucks cups. Those two. All the cups. Yeah. Just like <laughs> fuck. Why, why do you need so many cups? <laughs> so what am I? Jesus. I heard one of my sister in law was talking shit about it to my. Not talking shit about it, like saying what's the big deal to my other sister in law. And for her birthday, she got her that cup. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's funny. I Amazing. mean, I I, go, I got them for people because I know like they like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we did have a blooper, but um, no, yeah, the cups thing is is trippy. I don't get it. But um, all right, so I'm gonna read my list to you guys because I made my own version. I found these on like well, I saw them on TikTok, I should say, and they were really funny. So I was like, I'll make my own, okay? Yeah, let's and do it's it. funny because I got dragged for the first one. <laughs> um, and I think it's funny. At me. Um, hold on, sorry. She came guys. for me on that one. I'm gonna I know pull it, it up you right and Kim now. You and Kim she, she came she came i'm gonna read it but um you'll see why the first one i got dragged i'll give a little backstory to it mm-hmm. um hold on sorry and then like uh we can do that okay <laughs> all right let's I don't see know why that sounded funny to me hold on i'm pulling it up okay are you guys ready mm-hmm. okay so this is what we're leaving behind or not bringing it to 2024 okay and i want okay. everyone's opinion on these Oh, it's not number one. Number one, that I, I didn't get dragged for this one, but number one, I said people pleasing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think um, most of us are at that big age now where we're kind of <laughs> like over that. Like I'm, a, I'm over, I call myself a recovering people pleaser. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think we're bringing that into 2024. Mm-mm. No, no. Nah. And I feel no guilt. My best friend, he's very sassy. Um, mm-hmm. One time he said something that I thought was so pivotal at first i was like you're a fucking clown but then i was like wait that actually was like really good and it made me rethink a lot but his friend tries to guilt him right i think we all have like that one friend who tries to like make us feel bad because like we cancel or we like don't go to something or whatever right they make you feel bad and he has one friend that particularly does this and she told him don't worry about it like don't feel bad like please don't feel bad he never said i feel bad but right. she was just out of her ass was like don't feel bad like it's okay like don't feel bad like, i don't and he responded because he's sassy as fuck um i love him but sometimes i'm like whoa but he was like i don't feel bad like yeah. he should have said to her i don't that's cute he totally and i bad. laughed so hard when he said that but then i thought about it for like a week and i was like that's actually so powerful you know what what i when i say stuff like that and i'm trying to be more direct I do, I don't feel bad, but then I do feel bad. Like, really? and that's, I think that's a battle with me. Yeah. Like today, my, my tia literally told me, she's like talking about that, like not being a people pleaser. My tia's are like, oh, just so you know that, um, we we're talking amongst the sisters, her, my aunt, and uh-huh. they were saying that, that my brother, my little brother is everyone's favorite because he knows how to tell them something, but but no le razón. How do, how do you oh, say that? Oh, he's like tactful. Like, oh, yeah, he, he's uh-huh. very, gentle with he's it. Very, he's very gentle. And I'm like, mm. because he's a manipulator. No. <laughs> I'm like, he manipulates me. I'm Whoa. like, I'm like, because I guess they don't like that I say things directly. And I'm like, they are like, my whole life, people have been telling me what to do, how to do it. And like, just taking like yes. advantage of me. So I'm like, how do you want me to say it? Like, if you're going to say like, okay, so example, for for um, New Year's, I was mm-hmm. I told my tia, one of my tias, I'm gonna bring the the piña colada, right? The piña right. colada things. Okay. Yeah, would you help me make this piña colada? And she's like, Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna buy everything for everyone. And so I get to the party, I bring everything. Then I'm not drinking, you know, and I'm not sh- trying to shame anybody that because they're drinking. Yep. But then. I tell everybody because I see them trying, like looking at my eyes that I bought for the piña colada. So I told them like, "Hey guys, if you guys want some of the, if you guys want some ice, it's like twenty of you guys. I would suggest you guys go buy a couple of ice bags because this one's for the piña colada." There you go. So then my tia starts telling me that that my tia sees that. Okay, no, I say that. Couple hours pass, and then the piña colada, we're about to start making it, 
And so then my my cousin comes up to me and asks me, hey, can I have some of the ice? And I'm like, no, this is for the bina colada. And then my tia, which is my cousin's mom, that cousin's mom, was like, um, mijo, you're being uh, very envidioso. Like, you're not... <laughs> What? She's like you're not. She's like you're you're being very uh, what's it called selfish mm -hmm. with the ice, and I'm like, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I get so bad because I'm like, yeah. yeah, like I literally knew this was gonna happen, and so I told my cousins this beforehand. Like, yeah, I'm like, you try to I'm like, the and so I tell her, think what you want to think of me, and this is the what they say. I'm like, think what you want to think of me. I told my tia, yeah, but this is I know that I'm just trying to be direct. Like yeah. I'm not I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not selfish. This fucking piña colada is for everybody. Like this, <laughs> this is not. It's not like I'm. I brought piña colada just for me because I'm not drinking. No, I brought this piña colada for everybody. So why right. am I getting shit for it? You know, and so yes, we're leaving people pleasing behind. Can so. I add to that? Yeah, though? To yes. With people pleasing. <clears throat> put the. Can you hear me? Because I need y'all to hear me for this. Mike, check one too. <laughs> people pleasing also like. People who are super sensitive and you can't say shit because everybody wants to cancel your ass. <laughs> How about not caring about them and not getting canceled and leaving them in 2023? Yeah. What's a good one? And I'm not people pleasing nobody because I'm going to say what I got to say on this podcast. I, I have and no energy. I don't care what you think. I love it. I have no energy. Adding to that please. to the people pleasing. People pleasing. I'm not going to fake agree. say stuff. It's out. Agree. Period. For 2023. Yeah. I agree. Okay, what's your number two? Okay, number two. This is the one I got a little dragged for. <laughs> I'm ready for this one. I already know. I said group dinners <laughs> and oh. birthday dinners. Oh, Wait, shit. what? Group dinners, group dinners and birthday dinners. You're leaving that behind? I fucking hate Yo, she just came dinners. for my whole friend group right now. I did. I, all I my did. bitches. I honestly, I like um, it. All my girls. I, I can't leave that behind. I, I hate it. But then you're going to become a mom, and I'm not saying that to say that if you're a mom, that you can't be going to... Yeah, I, I have to stay in my house all because the time. Because my sister-in-law yeah. will argue the fact that she would want my brother to be taking care of the kids while she goes and does her dinner. Oh, cause. girl. I'm, so, yeah, I'm just... You'll I'm, see me outside this but summer. But I can't let that go. Baby Bjorn or not, you'll see me outside this <laughs> summer. I already have. I already bought one. I'm like, me and, me and G are going out. No, I mean, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. Just, I hate that. Just because um, the last, like, group birthday dinner we did, like, for the group of girls. Yeah. Like... W Sorry, I'm putting it out there. Do it, do it. Uh, one, the gr the birthday girl side texted me and like two other people. And she's like, yo, I think I'm going to make this smaller because she had a birthday dinner the week before because there were so many girls. Yeah. So like we, she had to separate it. Uh, like who could come? And she's like, I think I'm going to make this one smaller because these bitches are so cheap. Ooh, but see, that's what I'm saying. And she's like, these girls are so cheap and I can't deal with broke people. Like, Okay, so she, meaning they want to only pay for what they or like eat? Yeah, or like... Or Penny like, counting, I right? I Yes, like what you guys talk about. Like, oh, I only got this and that. You got two drinks and the appetizer. You know so what wait, I'm saying? So what would you like it to be? How, what do you guys Well, so her point was like, I'm going to make it smaller. And whatever the bill is, we're just going to fucking split it. If there's six of us, we're yeah. splitting it by six. That doesn't yeah. make sense to certain people. But, but No, right. I understand. 100%. I understand. That's why, why I don't like them. This is why I could understand why <laughs> Paulina wants to leave it. Because that's annoying. <laughs> I hate but it. But I feel like it works out if it's not too big of a group and everybody okay. has the same understanding. But that's not the case. Hence why my girl was like, man, fuck that. Some but it kind of sounds just... like you're, you're agreeing with that. Well, I for the sake of her thing, I was like, yeah, that's fine. I honestly don't want to be that person either. Like, I'm just kind of like, all right, cool. Like, yeah. split it. Let's at, go. At this point, at I just this point, I I didn't suck care. it up. So, like, for me, yeah. I, do, I feel like you could leave it. I'm going to still go to them because I know I'm going to still be invited. Yeah. But... I even, could understand. Even after you said that. No. Right. That yeah, they'll still you. invite me because it's true. Listen, I said no to them for a couple of reasons. Number one being, I think that sitting with a large group of people sucks. I can't <laughs> hear you down. I, you're sitting down there, Nestor. I'm over here. I and we're that. eating our little fucking steak tacos. Like, I can't hear you. Yeah. And usually what happens if it's more than five to six people. Yeah. Um, you have your own conversation on this side of the table, which is fine. Yeah. And we're having our own. Mm -hmm. So it gets really fucking weird. And I don't like it. Um, I think it's awkward. I'd rather just stay home than have to like sit here and like, you know, eat this meal and like force talk. And I can't even talk to my own friends because it's just everyone's so far. I hate it. Number two, when the mathematicians come out, 
everybody becomes one when the bill comes. And like, I know, I get what you're saying, right? Because if you eat a steak and I eat a little side salad, yeah, I get it. Like, that's not fair. Like, we have two no, good I, rice tags. I'm saying more because, like, I, like for example, if I'm not drinking, yeah, at all, right? Which I don't mind paying for a, a round. No, for but it makes sense. But though. it's like if people are buying like six drinks, agree. I think no, like, I think I no. There's there's very much a fine line. Like it was clear when we went to that one dinner. Uh, my friend, her coworker, this man drinks like fucking crazy where he opened up his own tab with that. And she said ahead of time, she was like, yo, this man drinks. Yeah. And he knows he's already doing his own thing. He's ordering himself this King. and that. He's a, he was, it worked out in that case. But yeah, no, hell no. I agree with you though. That wouldn't be fair. No. And I wouldn't feel right. Like knowing Paulina had nine Jack and Cokes. Always. And you've been drinking water the whole time. Like, right. That's not fair. And also, I, I will agree. say, if it gets too big, I, I agree with that. If it gets too yeah, big, I and agree. then also, if you're going on a group, I want to make sure that the that group is well balanced. Because mm-hmm. I hate it when you go Thank and you. everybody's like a chief, everyone's like a leader, and then or it's trying to be the <laughs> the leader of the of the whole group, and it's like it's too much energy up in this. All these like, alphas, yeah, Sit your like, ass out. especially like Chill, for me and like some like like this past. Time it was one of my friends' birthday and hopefully they don't fucking talk shit. Oh, but, I saw your Snapchat. But these fucking guys it literally like got no. It was so much fun and then the fuck That's then the uh, the offers came out and the <laughs> the main, no the queen bees all the queen oh, bees oh not the queens all the queen bees came out and then they were arguing and then and then it wasn't even okay. You always give that birthday person the pass. Yes, but it's like when it's you're not the birthday person like why the fuck do you make it about yourself you know what i'm saying Facts. like for my birthday oh my god it was i loved it thank i remember yeah i was, I was thankful I for everybody videos. that came but yeah. it was like 30 some people that came and Girl. it was it was a small brunch it was supposed to be a small brunch i remember i was i i i couldn't go i think i had same dance or something you were in pilsen right you were out of town i think i was yeah i was out of town or yeah, i had some with dance. i remember that i saw videos. I but like i literally <laughs> would have liked it for 10 of those people i wouldn't say what people it was Ooh, it, it would have been Lasso. but but because it was too big so yes if it's if it's not balanced yeah then no. I, yeah i i i say Group dinners are fine for me as long as it's like not more than like six. But then there's yeah. th- there's those four people or five friends that are really cool and they'll just listen, and they'll let they'll be fine with letting the other let's say six talk, and these will be listening and so it's well balanced. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. And in in that in that respect, like ten people wouldn't be bad because of that. So it's one. I have one more hot take on the dinner before we mm-hmm. move on. I think, and the, no one's gonna agree with me in this room. Maybe Mo well, Marco will. Um, no one's gonna agree Why? with me. Why are you judging? Yeah, us? Let's hear it. I, I know what you guys are okay, gonna go, think. Go. It's, it's a crazy take. Let's go. If I'm having a birthday dinner, or I invite <laughs> you, and I only say this because, like, I didn't do a birthday dinner, but like, you came to my birthday, Danny's, or at Danny's, we, right? I was, came to your like non-birthday that was supposed to be at a certain place and yes. nobody was there and i showed up and i then know I went to you're the a room. fucking real one um but we got you drunk and fed so it's fine yeah but like i mean I granted it's not a birthday dinner we weren't really like sitting down and like it wasn't like a five course meal it was like a pizza place but it was still yeah. like drinks and and people yeah. people were kind of coming in and out like mm-hmm. uh javi's cousins were in town they stopped by um my mom stopped by i think she like came for like a pizza a piece of pizza and then she like dipped so it was very like i don't know mm-hmm. like revolving door kind of style but that, that's yeah. what i wanted i wanted it to be like a hangout easy like, i'm here come hang out right <laughs> my hot take is like if i'm doing all this shit like i'm gonna front the bill and that's my hot take if i'm having a birthday dinner yeah 100 percent. i was gonna say i think wait you what do you mean you're like, gonna pay, pay for, for it yeah, like my husband it. well he was paying no. for it and then his my swagger ended up paying for it which was really nice i was like whoa um, no, but per- my husband took the credit card out yeah. and I told him like we're paying for this because first of all we're not we're not gonna invite you guys all out to eat no, pizza no, and beer I do not no, agree with I, that I get no, it. My, we my, did that the way my family to. is they did that for my 30th birthday no I wouldn't invited everybody right? and then they I, I would be was ma- family they paid, I would be they mad at everybody for else for making you pay for your, your, they paid, your but stuff but my family paid well I didn't pay my husband did but my point is like I just I guess my swag girl paid but my husband if your husband then yeah right that's what I'm saying if your husband then yeah but if it's you like if I go out and it's just me there yeah. And the birthday person is paying; they're not paying nothing. I get like, what you're that, saying. If I my husband pissed. wasn't there, I still would have probably paid. What were you saying? I get pissed if I don't pay. 
Ugh. Like yeah. I literally am that type of Even person. Even on your birthday? Don't give a fuck. I, I get pissed. Like I'm the person that That's, goes. You could come to all my dinner. <laughs> no, right. for my birthday. For your birthday, no. Uh, oh, <laughs> what is that? Not for my birthday. Damn. Okay, never mind. Right. Well, we're both in Take August. Them all. So we're just well, two for one. You were supposed to say, can you keep that same energy for my birthday? <laughs> well, I mean, we're both Leo, so. But yeah, I go to the bathroom and like give the. the I, I oh, you do that, yeah. that old move? I give him the that credit card move. and I say, if you take anyone else's credit card, I'm going to I'll be fire pissed. you. I ain't paying. So that's I'm gonna fire you. You're not even my boss. I'll become your boss I'll just call. to fire you. I'll, I'll call buy your this boss. place. I'll buy this place just to fire you. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like, like, okay, maybe you're right. Like, if it was just like, let's just say it's the four of us going to dinner. Like, you're not I, I still would offer. Because the I'm four of us, weird. Marco's definitely paying. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that is the role, true. role of the group. Thank you, Mark. But like, I guess like for me, it's like I think I would like do that because also too, I feel bad for like the waiters and the staff. Like, you're not gonna sit there and go through like. 18 cards yeah, no. and like start doing mathematician shit again. Like I, I hate that. But also like, yeah, like when we did that, that, that thing at my, for my birthday at Danny's again, it was chill. It was not a fancy restaurant. Yeah, by yeah, means. Yeah. It's my favorite place in the world, but it wasn't like fancy, yeah. but like the drinks were coming and like people, people were coming in and out. It was kind of like a stop by. I'll be here till like whatever, nine, 10 o'clock. Right. And people were just literally coming through and like, I had so much fun with that and mm -hmm. we just kept getting pizza and apps or yeah. whatever. But then I was like, okay, like I told Javi, I'm like, you know, straight up, I was like, we're going to, and he, he was like, of course, but I was like, we're inviting people out and like, they're coming through and I'm not going to have everybody pull their cards and no. So like we just yeah. paid for it. Well, I guess his dad did, but like, you know, I was like, that was very, like, I was very surprised. Oh, really fun. It was really fun. I want to do that again because it was just like we had the back, you know, the outside. Mm -hmm. We were just chilling. People were just coming up. Those I are think the best. My friend's uh, sister vibes. came up. It's the patio and vibes. They all can keep a conversation. Like, I love that. I know. I know. They loved you. <laughs> they loved you. I know. They Him and Jonathan were there. Yeah, I was like, these two are entertainment because they're, they're, they're like chatterboxes. <laughs> you guys were so fun. And you came through. So, yeah, I remember because we were at the other spot. And I felt really bad, but we didn't go there. I, oh, you called me an Uber there, remember? Or did I pay for my own Uber? No, I think I paid for your Uber. Yeah, yeah, you're like. Because I, I felt bad. I was. It was my fault. It was my fault. I was like, I'm so sorry, we're not there. And he's like, Oh shit, I'm here. And I was like, Get in your Uber. I'm calling it right now. Yeah, you're I, like, I'm happy you I came through. Uber. I know. I was happy you came. But no, I mean that's that's my hot take on that. Yeah. So anyway, nice. don't at me. I'm just I hate group dinners. And the, I got dragged because I went to a birthday a birthday group dinner the night before, Ooh. and I guess this chick that was there called my best friend and was like. Oh, I saw her post. I guess her group dinner wasn't all that. But like, <laughs> like what's a group dinner? Like, is a group dinner six people? Can I also say one more unpopular opinion? Yeah, go ahead. It's your podcast. Because I don't want to get dragged, but just say it into the mic. No people pleasing. We don't care. Let I them know. drag you. You're fine. Just say it. You I got think, cushion on your ass. Spit I think it out. like, and I can't say <laughs> this because I guess <laughs> you can say it. I guess like I kind of did this with that my birthday at being at Danny's Pizza. Yeah. But like, I think like. If you plan this like dinner, I th I, how do I say this? Like, I don't even know what I'm trying to Just say. Just say it. You're trying no, I to really, sugarcoat it. I really it. don't oh, know yeah. what I'm trying to say. Like, oh, okay. Because, like, I had nothing wrong with planning good dinners, <coughs> but I'm also like thinking, like, Shouldn't they plan it for you in a sense, or, or am I just they overthinking it now? Yeah, it depends, because like some people like things a certain way, and I think I do. If you I'm want a control it freak. Done right, yeah. you do it yourself. I think you if you if someone plans the dinner for you. Then like you don't have control over it, like who comes right. and everything else. Oh yeah. Or who pays. But yeah. if you set it up like Danny's, then like you're you're choosing exactly what you want. Exactly. I think that's what it is. Then. No, it depends. Cause some of us are very controlling of what we want. Same. And, I'm very controlling. And then so. some people aren't. So Yeah, that's why it, I was like, maybe I'm just overreaching now. Okay. So let me get the rest of my list up when it decides to load. Group dinner, fifteen minutes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Number three, <laughs> acting the bare minimum. Mm. I'm sorry, acting, accepting, yeah, no, accepting the bare minimum. So yeah. I don't know why we still accept the bare minimum. No. And my example in this video was, and no, no shade to dads. I know dads are great, but um, some of y'all dads be like thinking you do the most when you babysit your kids. I'm it's gonna not say, even babysitting. Thank you. That's your child. How the fuck are you babysitting? You're being a parent. And I have like certain friends who like, will act like when their husband does something or their boyfriend fiance does like the slightest thing for them, mm -hmm. they'll be like <laughs> so immersed in it. And I'm like, yeah, that's your fucking boyfriend. That's your fucking husband. Like, yeah. why wouldn't he go to Walgreens and get you fucking Tylenol? Like, but they act like this was like, yeah, just, it makes me sad a little bit. Cause I'm like, girl, that's the bare minimum. Like, Facts. you know, or they'll True. be like, oh yeah, I was sick. And, and, and he watched our kid. It's like, he's doing what he's supposed to be As doing. So I'm a, I'm a fall back. I'm a fall back. 
because that's not my business. <laughs> but no, I would, facts. I look at it like, isn't that what you're supposed to do? If my partner yeah. is sick and down, I'm going to pick up the slack. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Father of the year. What do you think? Father of the year? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think, you know, people um, going back to like Dati's point where it's like guys aren't excited to be dads. I think if you know from a fact that like a guy is that way, then yeah. – like he, that's how he's going to be with a, like being a dad. Mm-hmm. So like if you're sick and just in a relationship and he, you're like, Oh my God, he brought me uh, you know, chicken noodle soup. It's like, yeah, bro. When you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you're supposed to take care of them. So I like, thought you were that same energy. Is Why gonna, are we applauding? It's going to reflect to like children as well. Yeah. But you know, I agree with you. I think it's, Yo, it's <laughs> that, and that's not even with partners. That's with friendships. Every, friendships? Everything. I was about to say my friends it, do that. Time. Yeah. <laughs> no, it it's, applies to everything. It reminds me my grand, cause like, you know, I was sick and my grandma's like, Oh my God, did anybody send you a card, a virtual card, flowers, a, anything and i was like no nobody sent me anything that's some old she's school like, shit she's like back in my day if somebody was sick we would even an e-card at least i'm like an e-card oh that's cute i'm though. like no she's like that's messed up and then i'm like well, shame on my friends yeah. shame all you i didn't Sorry. get an e-card well fuck where are my flowers and my e-card and my get well i've gotten you flowers before. are 20 bucks 20 bucks a pop. Yeah. Sati, i've so, gotten you flowers before so i know you did you're so sweet just yes. because too I yeah, sent you tel- telepathy. You did. No, it's <laughs> yes, right. I did. But I yeah, was like, I was just like, better. mom, people <laughs> called me and they checked on me. Like to me, that, that No, that's we what did counts. check on you. I said, how are you feeling? Yeah. I mean, it was later, but. <laughs> so for me, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she calls all over us. No, but for me, I'm like, yeah, no, I think it's, it, it's for friendships. It's yeah. for everything. But especially like in relationships too. Like if you allow the bare minimum, then <sighs> they're not going to put the op whoever you're with 100 doesn't matter like the gender but like also if you accept the bare minimum they're not gonna try you're yeah. just gonna always get the basic stuff all i can say about that is it's a given you know like why yep. would you do that yeah that's it period 100 what's next um i'm gonna just go through these two kind of quicker because they're more like about like uh people ish again mm-hmm. saying yes when you want to say no i've yeah. been really good ever since i think covid i've been really good at learning the word no if yeah. i don't want to go somewhere and not like in a bogus way but like if i just know like okay i don't have to be at this thing whatever yeah. or it's taking my energy or maybe i just simply don't want to like i will say no not yeah. towards my friends i'll always show up for my friends but i mean like something work related where i'm like that's not like i don't need to be there mm-hmm. like i used to be that that girl who thought I had to be everywhere because yeah. I'm like, oh, that's my job. I have to go. That shit does not pay yeah. off at the end. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Uh, trust me. <laughs> it don't mean shit. Yeah. You know, like I have to be everywhere. I have to go this. So like I'm kind of learning. No. Yeah. And then the second part of that would be giving people the benefit of the doubt. I always mm. say people know what the fuck they're doing. Facts. I have certain friends that are very like, well, maybe they mean this by it. It's nah. like there's no. Take it at face value. Thank you. There's no maybe. No. People know what they're doing. Listen to their actions, not do their I, words. <laughs> yes. Do I believe in Literally. miscommunication or like there was maybe like something misunderstood? Okay, right? You and I can talk right now and you could walk away thinking I said something completely different. Maybe because of my tone, my demeanor, what mm-hmm. I said. Maybe you took it the right, right? It could just happen. Yeah. But I do think people um, know what the fuck they're doing though. Facts. Especially when they try to like do like that little like sly shade it's like you know what you're doing girl that mm-hmm. wasn't just you being you like yeah you're trying to throw some shade yeah and then my last one before we wrap up um this one was just for fun but club flyers that say ladies night i i don't know why we still do that <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> like why are we still doing ladies that's night? so funny i love you know? that so. I, I have a lot of stuff you have I want to add on. Yeah. Like whiners, people who whine all the time. Oh, I don't like Leave your whiner. whining in 2023. Save it for your mother. <laughs> I, um, I could have I don't want to hear it. That. Um, that goes along with like sensitivity, like people who are like overly sensitive and we have to like watch everything we say. Oh my God. <laughs> um, also, like self sabotaging. Ooh. We're going to leave that in 2023. I'm big on that. Yeah. Being afraid to ask questions. Like, Ooh, that's oh my me. God, like, I don't want to challenge. I don't want this. No, do it. Leave, leave, leave the being af- the fear of asking questions in 2023. That's a good we one. We want all the answers. We want all the smoke. All the smoke. <laughs> and then low rise jeans and pants. Like, not a fan. I hate that. Like, they're bringing back this weird plaid. Like, Car- Carol G does it. She looks great. But not everybody looks like Adol G. <laughs> like, I like it. I like it too, I'm but not, I don't look like but, her. But okay, yeah. real life. If I sh- if I was walking on the street with that outfit, I'm 
I don't like. But that's that, your style. That's different stuff. I don't. Okay, well that's for you. Let's for you, leave, it's fine. In for my you. opinion, can we leave that in 2023 with the big old poofy boots with that schoolgirl plaid skirt? Baby fat and then the, you know, and then the shirts that are like cut before the boob cuts off. Again, oh, she God looks OG so good. looks good. God but she's also Coddle G. Well, Coddle G wait, looks good. But wait, no, are you saying that she, only because she has the body for it, she could wear that? I, I think it's See, the. I think I'm gonna say I think yeah, she has the I body for it. And two, it's just my preference, my personal preference. Like I just don't like that style. Because, I don't understand why we brought it back. Your words. I don't like it. Your words when you we were talking about the club scene with uh, our guests, mm -hmm. you were saying. Do you guys only hire girls that look a certain type of way? Yeah, right? I agree. So how do you make that statement and then now make I, the statement? Because it might, I think everybody's entitled to dress it's, how they want. A, uh, but no, no, no. Everybody's entitled to dress how they want. In my, in my personal opinion, me, my shape, I don't think I would look good in that. So I will mm. not wear it with confidence. I will not wear it like the baddest bitch ever. So therefore, I will not wear it. If other people choose to wear it, that's on them. I don't care. But in my opinion, I don't like that style. Yeah, I get what you're saying. If I you want to wear it, you can wear it. it just, I don't want to wear what you're wearing. It just sounded like you were making it like everyone should stop doing this. It, no, I'm saying, saying if, if I had a rule, I would make everybody stop wearing it just for my own selfish because I don't like it. Yeah, like because I don't want to see I it. I get what you're saying. That's all. The, like, like I don't really care if people do it. It's whatever. But I'm just saying, like the low rise jeans and that, like it's uncomfortable. I love I love me a high waisted moment. Yeah, I, I get want my that. butt crack showing. Like one of my friends said that she's like, I don't get it, and it was kind of offensive to my brother, to my bro. Not offensive, but it was kind of like it rubbed me the wrong way. What'd you say when she was? Because she wears all designer, like this. Mm -hmm. She's like a okay, designer. She girl. wears That's all designer, one. and it's like leave that in twenty twenty. Who hurt her? Like I don't. <laughs> so she said, I don't get why these kids now or why this generation is wearing all old clothes, and I'm like. Oh, like vintage. Um, yeah, like vintage. So I'm like, that's a good thing. You know, like they're recycling clothes. Like yeah. they are, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're trying to keep the culture alive from the past, you know? And so I feel like it's a lot of it is, it's a lot of positive stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. I just don't like the dirty look. Yeah, it's crazy. I was. Like, I mean, no, if, like, like the thing is that if you're dirty, then you're dirty. And no, if you're but like, no, I understand. But I'm saying, no, no, no. I guess what I'm saying is like... I, like a person could just look raggedy and I know they're clean, but just like that's fashion. Like bummy. Like bummy. I want to like, I get it. That's fashion. But I am in no way a fashion forward person. Yeah. I don't consider myself like a person that jumps on trends and I want to be fashion forward. I'm not. I'm basic as hell. I will say that. I My fashion when it is. Comes I, to your fashion. For me personally, I'm basic as hell. I dress for my body, how I feel, what looks good on my body. That's it. That's the only fashion I have. I don't follow trends. I don't do none of that. I wear what makes me feel good and comfortable. And that's it. But like, yeah, I, I personally don't understand the whole like your dress looking like you garbage picked. It's crazy. I understand that that's fashion and I respect fashion. I respect people's I wanna, fashion I choices. I take you. I just don't no, like it. I, wanna, I literally went to like this past weekend. I, I, I went like to it. Gucci for someone for a gift for someone yeah and i was in line was to it pay <laughs> it wasn't for you Nessie. i'm sorry <laughs> i went in line to pay and the guy behind me had this like poofy pirate shirt that looked stained and it was like it was a gucci shirt I'm like what the fuck and like yeah. i looked it up and it was like a 2500 hundred dollar shirt and, and i'm like i would never pay that dude, and, money and i feel like for yo, a shirt that literally i know looks a couple i know a couple that they ha they wear nothing but name brand them and their children, which I think that's stupid. Leave that in twenty twenty three. Why you got a Kids you got a two year old kid with three hundred pairs of Gucci Gucci shoes, Burberry? They're not gonna fit in that in like three months. Yep. That's stupid. But whatever, to each their own. But like, I feel like designer, 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 designer. The belt with the that's tacky. Yeah, I agree with that. Like the belt with the headband. And then the, the my jeans are Costco. The, that right and then that's this, my friend. That's my like, friend. Like like designer, 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 designer. Mucho, 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 mucho. It's, it's a what's not it called? Cute. What's the word? Where it's it overload. Like doing like, too much. Yeah, tacky. Feel, it's tacky. It's way too much. I feel like if I know a couple of the same thing. Uh, like they have it's a bunch a of designer stuff, though. but. I've, like their fridge is black, so it's like, bro, what are you like? The why fridge is black. <laughs> it's, it's a black fridge or a white fridge. It's almost. It's just like, it's like I feel a, like I mean, a nice piece, a designer piece, yeah. like a little goes a long way. Yeah, 
I'm but again, just, I'm, I'm not a far, fashionista person. I would just say like as far as own. anything that's vintage to me is like, I remember I told you guys, I think it was the last episode where I was talking about how my sisters yep. are like, she's all like, you oh, better, you better not, you better not send that to mom or yeah, you better yeah, not, the pearls, right? The pearls, mm -hmm. right? And my mom loved it. And, oh, yay. and not just that, but like, I just, I see the beauty in it now, like like a lot and so yeah. it's like to me it does rub me the wrong way but also i respect that i respect that to some people you know you may not like it to some people they're like why the fuck would you want to pay 200 dollars for an old ass shirt you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying but i've paid it because some I, people see the it's value a it's a statement piece like when i went to yeah. the drake concert like everything else was cool but i wore this that fucking shirt that cost me $300, but it was a vintage shirt and I really liked it. You know what? I really get Sarah Jessica Parker now because she was wearing a lot of vintage designer. <laughs> yes, she Sex was. City. So anyways, but... I get that. I think everybody Art. sees values in yeah. different things. What are you things. leaving in 2024, Nestor? What's Nestor's? What I'm leaving in 2024, or I'm going to try to leave, is letting... 2023. What I'm leaving in 2023, um, or what I'm going to try to leave... Is one uh, letting people tell you what you meant, like when I'm having a conversation oh. with somebody, and then they're like, "Oh, this is what you meant to say." I'm like, like "No, that's not what I meant to say." Mm -hmm. You know, I I said I said what I said. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because my whole life, people have been trying to tell me what I said. No, I said this. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or even before, like when we started the show, you know, I talk, we, we me and me and Paulina were talking, and I'm like. Like, we were talking about, like, I forgot what, but I'm like, do you remember what I, I, I said last time? And she's like, wait, what, what was that you said? I would, but then I, I said it again so that she knew exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, I love yeah. repeat. Me. If I don't know if I miss something, I'd rather you over communicate. Yeah. But I get what you're saying with that. And it's, I'm not saying Paulina tells, does that to me. I'm just saying. I'm like, always doing that. Just an example. Mm -hmm. And what's the other one? Um, the other stuff bad eating habits oh girl oh, i'm sorry that's like i mean that's maybe a 2025 yeah <laughs> but like also, don't, tell, there don't tell the pregnant lady <laughs> also drinking like in the morning i'll get i'll eat something light yeah. my eggs and then ham you. and then i'll eat, drink a protein drink before i go to the gym nice and i'll, I'll wow. be consistent for a whole week and then two eat weeks shit. later i'm eating like shit yeah mm -hmm. and then the last one would be or one i, I mean I, I didn't think i wasn't able to think too quick but the last one is my Puerto Rican hairstyle. <laughs> like, I really want to... Well. You got a Puerto Rican hairstyle? So, what yeah, do you want to change? This, what do you want to change? You got the bangs. You got the, the bangs. bangs. You the Noel bangs. have the bangs. But the thing so, is, what are you going to do? The thing is, like, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to forward this Instagram video to everybody. <coughs> and basically, it's like this guy saying how, like, the hairstyle that, that stops you from from showing like your receding lines because i have receding lines and so i'm like i need to send this to everybody that tells me to cut off my annual hairstyle like the reason why i have this hairstyle is because i'm getting older and to so, justify it and though. so whatever True. you like but but yeah but either way i, I do want to switch it up but then again my friend and this is this comes with us leaving people pleasing behind yep. my friend who works with me he's like no it's because when you put your hair up and when you comb it up you look like a bitch like wait what the fuck <laughs> he's like you're wow. giving like you're a fucking bitch to that's people like crazy. you feel I you look crazy yeah he's like if i that if i do that hairstyle that yeah. it seems like i feel like i'm better than everybody i'm like what the fuck over a comb over bitch uh, really don't, that's don't crazy what mm. no no leave leave that person behind in 2023 somebody's projecting yeah it's a little projecting going on yeah so a little projecting. well let us know that's in the comments too like what what are you guys are leaving behind yeah i'm actually really curious um i'm leaving not having heat in the studio yeah we're leaving Last paying one. our bills <laughs> i know Woo. yes we got our heat back all right we love you guys follow us on social at paulina row at talk with tati at the bra bro and never too shy pod follow us and pay this damn bill please we're cold we are cold <laughs> give us heat i got mocos love you guys. Bye. What is this